What's up, everybody? It's your boy Zeman and here to bring you part 19 of our Let's Play of Spyro the Dragon. In the last part, we finished up the first level of the game, which was an awesome level. It was called Dark Passage. Now we're going to head into Lofty Castle. I have remembered what Lofty Castle is. It is not the level I was thinking of. It's not the one with the knights and all that. This is a different level, and quite frankly, I like this level quite a bit, too. I like this world a lot. Um... I've I've went I've I've went through I played I replayed all these levels. They're all very fun. Um for different reasons. This one is a bit more non-linear in its structure. So we're gonna have a lot of fun finding gems here. And we have a few new enemy types. We got these uh big bird thingy jiggers. They can be flamed or charged. They only attack you if you get in their sights range, so no need to worry about that. We've also got these big guys who obviously cannot be charged or flamed. However, their balloon is a little frail and they fall to their death. It's not a it's not a good thing to fall down there. Just That's why you don't float around on balloons. Stupid norks. Uh trying to think what else. We've got the Oh, the mechanic here. We're actually let's show off the first mechanic the only mechanic really. Um the mechanic of this level is that these fairies have been captured by uh, Nasty Norks minions and it is our job to save them and in return we actually get to... I rolled right into that arrow in return they uh, set up a whirlwind that we need to use in order to get every gem in the game and move on to the next sections save the dragons do all that stuff so once we can uh, save all three fairies. It's three fairies to a whirlwind. So once all three fairies are saved, whirlwind happens and we fly away and the frame rate drops. This level has some frame rate issues right around here. It's happened every time. Medora! Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Thank you. I just explained that. You didn't explain how the fairies are on my side. You just said, hey, look, fairies on your side. Good, 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 good people there. Them fairies is good peoples. Alright, so... It's gonna take me a little while. I've... It, no matter how many times I try to play this, it's gonna take me a few seconds to remember uh, everything that I need to do in this level. Why can't I flame you? Fire attack. Flamethrower. Ember. The fire blast. What's the fire spin? It's not really spinning, but still, just naming off every Pokemon I can. Yeah, this guy's not a mini Charizard anymore. I saw Charizard's Mega Evolution. It didn't look good. I, like, seriously, I hate the designs of the, uh... Well, okay, Venusaur basically looks the exact same, but Mega Blastoise and Mega Charizard look stupid. I hate those designs, and considering Charizard's one of my favorite Pokemon, it's not a good thing to mess with my favorite Pokemon's design. But enough about Pokemon in the Spyro game. I, keep, I just keep finding ways to put Pokemon into this world. Let's instead do all this stuff and get hit again. And I don't have Sparks anymore. That's great. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, there should be... Whoa. I can't make my way up that way. Instead, we're going to have to go this way. But there should have been some... Where are they? Are there no... I thought I thought there were mushrooms over here. I guess I might have been wrong. That sucks, because, uh... One hit... One hit here, and I am dead. Alright. I'm actually gonna do a quick little run around here. Make sure I grab every chest and every gem. Don't want to miss one. Two more chests here. We actually need to go up. We're going to do a little bit of uh, gliding, platforming action. It's not really platforming, per se. But we are going to be doing some gliding and uh, lots of attacking while we're gliding. The camera would appreciate my assistance. This, that was a good glide. You know, where you completely screw up everything. At least I got a gen. I got one of the guys. I need to glide correctly, like so. Save all the fairies, defeat all the norks. They should come over here and give me a boost. Thank you, ladies. You're looking very splendid today. 
And we'll save the dragon as well, which will be nice. And get the key. I forgot the keys over here, too. Usin. Useni. Useni. Ah, Spyro, thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. There's only one place you actually want to use the supercharge. I mean, there is only one supercharge, and it's right outside of here. Obviously, he was telling you, hey, supercharge, you can do something. Um, but there's only one real place that you can or even want to supercharge. And that is utilizing this ramp right here as well. And glide. Uh, I made it. I made it barely. Uh, this is a platform that can only be reached with the super glide. Uh, there's no other point high enough or accessible enough that will get you to this, uh, that'll get you to this platform. So you have to use the super glide there. Make sure, make sure you do that. But unfortunately, what, like, he was trying to tell you that, uh, the super glide will really help you out and it'll take you anywhere you want to go. No, there's, that's the only place the super glide really needs to go. Now, we can also unlock this chest back here and get another... Butterfly for sparks. Unlock the chest. Get all the gems here. Getting ever, ever the closer to beating this level. We've got 250, 260 something around there. Gems. The gems here are like really even. I've kind of noticed that. We always finish on like a 10 or a 5. But I guess that's to be expected. Let's save these fairies now. And, of course, kill these enemies. You did not get off that shot. I call shenanigans. Next person says shenanigans is gonna... Sorry, I'm trying to... That is a very funny movie, though. Baruti. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome, Baruti. At least he said it in a nice way. Well, maybe not nice way, but in a badass way. Let's say that. All right. Now we got two of these whirlwind platforms here. Each one of them takes you to a different ferry. This one takes us to this ferry over here. Get the gems. Whoa, I don't want to hit. Uh, the guy only attacks you on the downswing, I believe. If I remember correctly. Um, he does attack you. He's not just floating around uselessly. If you're in his range, he will take a swipe at you. And it'll hurt you. Like every enemy's attack hurts you. I sometimes appreciate, like, the big enemies don't hit you for two hits. Like, for example, he'll take a swipe like that. It's nothing too bad. He doesn't do it on the way up, only on the way down, so if he's on his way up, you can get as close to him as you want to. On the way down! Don't let him get a swipe at you! No, Spyro, Spyro, I loved you! You were like a brother to me. Oh, well, at least we saved the fairies. I, we got all the gems from over there, so we got 300 gems, only 100 to go. And they should all be in this last little area right here. No, none. Bad. <sighs> Freaking Cupid. Cupid Satan babies. The weird enemy choice actually was a pretty good enemy. Seriously! Get your freaking grin off your face and just die. That's the way this is gonna work from now on. Every Cupid baby Satan thing. Which I believe we only see one more time. They're only, like, enemies here in the, uh, Magic Craft... No, not Magic Crafters, Dreamweavers. That's the, uh, name of this level. You're dead, you're dead. Is that all of them? That is all of them, okay. So I could use a mushroom or two here for sparks, and there should be a few gems this way. Almost there. We've got uh, 50... 41 more gems left. Got all the dragons already, so once we take these whirlwinds, save these last couple fairies, grab these last couple gems, defeat this last couple enemies, which there should only be like one or two more of. Or maybe just the one. That's pretty cool. We'll get all these. If this... This should take me to 285, because I see a... Those both blues or... That should be a yellow and a blue, if I remember correctly. Take me up, ladies. I want to finish this level with a vengeance. John McClane. Return home, Spyro. You did good today. 
three, four hundred more gems. I need to remember how many gems are in each level, because if I don't, I'm going to keep screwing this up, and it's going to be bad, and all that other stuff. There we go. We've defeated the level that is known as Lofty Castle. So we've only got one more level to do here in this hub. Also, we got the boss, and we got the, uh, what's the... The boss in the speedway level. You may have noticed, enemies respawn every single time you restart a game. Obviously, mo after most levels, I'm usually restarting so I can uh, do either do research on the last level or, I mean, do research on the next level or do, I don't know. Sometimes words just don't come to you. Here's where we're going. We're getting to the Haunted Towers, which is the final level. It has... Um, very medieval themed. There's going to be lots of wizards, lots of knights. Trust me. So it's it it is as much as I want to say I don't like it. I did enjoy it. It was a it's a pretty good level. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel because every subscription is awesome. That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say to keep up with all the Spyro the Dragon content that will be on this channel. That's what I meant to say. And also be sure to like and favorite the part, because every like and favorite helps support the series. That's what I wanted there. And then what's the last thing? Yeah, comment, because comments express opinions, you know, freedom, all that stuff. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll see all of you guys next time.